Hello everybody, it's Rippin' Gamer, and right now in Sexville, it's 9.01pm on January 18th, 2012. And how's everybody doing? Welcome to another exciting episode of Let's Play Animal Crossing City Folk for a year. How is everyone's day today? Sorry for taking that long, deep, inhaling breath. But I'm doing pretty well myself. I had my first day of school, finally, after like a month and a half off. And it was fun! Um, I have a pretty good classes. Uh, I have a philosophy class. Well, it's a... It's a philosophy in film class, so it's like philosophy, the philosophy used in making certain films, which I thought was a pretty cool sounding class. It might sound kind of lame and artsy and fake, but it's a really cool class, and it's like a real philosophy class, which is nice. And, um, what else? Um, I have a literature class, like just pretty basic literature class, because that was all I, ha I could get because I signed up really late for the semester. And uh, I had my U.S. History to 1887 class, and, uh, or was it 18... Nah, I'm so bad with dates. But I had that class as well, and all my teachers are pretty cool. Um, all the classes are pretty enjoyable. All my classmates seem okay as, as far as ones I've talked to go. Um, uh, my philosophy class is pretty huge. It's like 60 people or something like that. But I don't really care too much about... I mean, like, those big classes, I don't really care much about getting to know everyone else. Um, but like the smaller classes, like my literature class and my uh, history class, everyone seems pretty cool. So that's good. And uh, basically, I, all this free time I've been getting, I've <laughs> been using to find a new love for Gary's Mod on Steam. And, oh my god, if you guys have Steam and you haven't played Gary's Mod, you know, I, I, I don't know how many of you would be into it, but I'm into it. I think it's awesome. It's, you know, really, like, the game I compare it to a lot when I talk to people about it is Minecraft. It's a very similar, um, like, well, then again, it came, it came before Minecraft, I think. Um, it's a really similar experience, you know, it's a creative-based game, and all you do is just use tools around you to build this or that. And, um, it is server-based as well, so you can play it on a server, or play multiplayer with other people. And it's just a cool party game, you know? I mean, you could... Basically, the way Gary's Mod works is you take any game made by Valve that's on Steam, and you automatically, like when you have, like let's say, okay, so I have Gary's Mod, and I buy the orange box, which is Team Fortress 2, Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 Episode 1, Half-Life 2 Episode 2, and Portal. So, if I have Gary's Mod in that, that basically allows me to take every single character, item, anything from any of those games from the orange box and it allows me to manipulate them, put them in different scenarios, build stuff with them, pretty much anything. And um, it uses lots of different physics and uh, it's just so much, it seriously is a lot of fun. I totally recommend picking it up, unfortunately, uh, Valve obviously, they're not doing many sales because you know after Christmas, but um, if you get an opportunity to pick it up you, you definitely should. And I have almost all the sources for them, except Half-Life 1, because they don't make Half-Life 1 for the Mac. And then, obviously, whatever ones came out, like, way back in the day, there's a couple that I don't have, because they just were never released on Mac. And I've searched on the internet for them, but they just, they never, I mean, there's versions of the game, um, I think, I can't remember what one of them was called. There's, like, versions of it, but they're power PC, and with, uh, new, uh, OS of Mac, you can't use applications that are power PC, which sucks, because that means you can't play, um, there's a lot of stuff you can't play because of that, I mean, can't play the original Half-Life, can't play Fallout 1 or 2, can't play, uh, Halo 1, which is a big loss, because playing Halo 1, I have such fond memories, um, in one of my early video classes in high school, it was just, like, a room full of Max, IMAX, and, like, me and, like, five other people would all just get, like, a LAN party going, and we would all just play the demo maps over and over and over again. That was basically all we did in that class. And then last minute, one of us would do the project and then just copy and paste, change some colors here and there, and, yeah, and then just go back to playing Halo. It was so much fun. And my te the teacher didn't even care. Mr. Bakaitis, Ron Bakaitis, he didn't care at all. Ron, if you're watching this, I'm sorry for being negligent in your class, but it was a pretty easy class. Oh, no, it wasn't a video. It was a Photoshop class, which was a really cool class. I was really lucky to have a school that had stuff like video editing and Photoshop. You know, that's one thing I definitely realized while I'm in college is I have a lot more experience. What's this guy here? It's probably a bass. I can't tell. Oh, shit. I can't tell. 
You guys could all tell in the comments. You guys were like, oh, nope, that was it. I really hope that wasn't it. I don't think it was, but... Damn it. Damn it. Anyway, um... Fuck, I really hope that wasn't it. Don't even... If it was it, don't even comment below telling me it was it, because I don't even want to hear it. But as I was saying, I've realized how lucky I was to go to a high school that had so much, like, technology and all that. And, like, I'd always complain while I was at that school, because my school wasn't... They had the stuff, they had the class, but they weren't very supportive of the program. They, like, you know, kind of shrugged people off and didn't really support or sponsor anything that we did, um, which always bothered me. And they were always trying to censor me and trying to tell me, no, you can't do that, that's inappropriate, you know, that, you know, isn't appropriate. Oh, here's another one. So this will probably be the bass. I just can't, I don't know how you guys could tell what the difference was. Maybe it's just because I'm an Animal Crossing noob. Even though I feel like I've played this game a lot more than normal people do. Oh, God damn it. Come on, fish. Being a dick. Get back here. There we go. Oh, you're really close. Okay, good. Come on. Okay, it's not going to be it, because that was too easy. Ugh! Damn you. Damn you to hell. Um. Ugh my throat. Uh, but did you guys have any video classes or Photoshop classes or anything like that at your school? I mean, I know some of you aren't even in high school yet or anything like that, but I'm interested to know where you guys stood um, at your school. I mean, did you guys have Macs? Did you guys have editing programs? You know, any of you learned Photoshop in high school? Anything like that? Because, I mean, unfortunately, unless you have a lot of money or older siblings that have are in college or have been working in that kind of thing it's really hard to get any kind of experience I mean except I guess not it's so bad now I mean now and I mean look at any let's player almost anyone can have a copy of Sony Vegas or Final Cut Pro or any oh, Adobe Premiere Adobe Premiere I guess isn't as frequently used but you can get any editing software you can um, <laughs> through a the Pirate Bay or any kind of torrenting website. It's just become so easy and you know, you look up tutorials online and you know, you get a handful of results and you go to like the, one of the more viewed ones and it's like, oh, of course, it's a 12 year old kid telling me, a 20 year old you know, person who's been editing for 5 years how to do this thing that's apparently widely known how to do by everyone. I knew that was going to be a bass. That's why I didn't even care. Ugh. Um, it's just crazy how information has become so available and how anyone can become an expert on anything just by having access to a computer you know the internet and our computers have become one of the biggest source of learning um, especially with you know all the issues with public schools and you know all the education issues that are going on the internet is consistently there you know you, you, the wikis and the encyclopedias and all that are always going to be there they don't really get paid much they don't really do it for money they are not bad teachers they're not good teachers they're just available teachers and it's an open source of knowledge and unfortunately there's people who want to take that away but i already bitched and complained about that enough yesterday so i'm not going to get into that again but i did post a video I don't know why I'm whispering. I did post a video today, a lot of people posted this video, of Joe Biden, our vice president, uh, saying his stance on SOPA and PIPA, and um, he's against it. He's way against it. He went out and said, I'm against this bill. I think it kills jobs. I think that, um, you know, this is, like, one of the greatest uh, opportunities for entrepreneurs that are out there, and if we take, you know, the internet away, we take not only a lot of business away, but we take... You know, a lot of that drive, a lot of that ambition, a lot of that hope to, you know, do something new and original. But that's awesome. And actually, after today, today was Blackout Day, for those of you who don't know. And uh, if you went on my YouTube channel, actually, if you go, I'm going to keep my background up and my banner up for a while. Um, I'm going to keep it up till they officially shut down the SOPA and PIPA bill. Um, but luckily, the Blackout Today and Biden's speech, um, they both did help out a bit. Um, SOPA, which was supposed to get a vote, uh, I think, early next week, is now being pushed back. Congress doesn't have a set date yet when they're going to do it. 
Uh, they were, I think they were originally going to do it on Monday or Wednesday. But now, after, you know, the blackout and all that, they are stopping it. Because, you know, Congress doesn't like to look as bad as they do right now. Um, luckily, the blackout did raise a lot of awareness. And I don't know if you guys ever tried to get... If any of you tried to get on Wikipedia or anything like that today, you were greeted with a pretty dark, ominous message from uh, Wikipedia, which is what they needed to do. I mean, their whole thing was about, you know, not being able to find information, and blah, 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 and it, it was pretty powerful stuff. Um, but, yeah, but then on, on the unfortunate part, PIPA is still having its vote uh, this uh, coming week, and I'm pretty sure it'll get voted down. <laughs> After everything that had happened, I mean, everyone knows now. I mean, not everyone, but more people than ever know now. I mean, I was in the class the other day, and um, or I was in class today, and my teacher tried to look up something on Wikipedia, and it was down. He's like, "What? What's this about?" I'm like, "Wait, you don't know about any of this internet censorship stuff?" And then this was like my 60 class, not my 60 uh, student class, and most of them didn't know about it either. Only like three people around me knew what we were, what it was about, and I was pretty disappointed. But, you know, because of Wikipedia or any of these websites doing blackouts, um, they're able to sp spread a lot more awareness, which is what it's all about. So, I, we, I think we've won this round. I mean, I don't want to call it yet, but I honestly think that the SOPA bill is going to die for a while. But don't think that just because it's gone now, it's going to be gone forever, because this is, like, the fifth or sixth time this has happened in, like, a year. Um, this is just the closest it's come to getting passed. So don't think that just because it goes away for now it won't come back because the government can rewrite things over and over and over again and uh, they'll change little things here and there to try and trick people. They'll, you know, write little clauses here and there that'll help slowly protect the internet, like block the internet and stuff. So just keep an eye out, keep an ear open for stuff going on um, because honestly a big reason for SOPA's ultimate failure is because all of us, you know, everyone's getting involved, everyone's putting their thoughts out there. And that's what you're supposed to do in a democracy, you know? Um, and God, I was said I was going to talk about this, but I did anyway because I just, I can't help it. You know, and a lot of people had questions and a lot of people wanted to know what was going on. And uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to go on and on and on about it again. But it's just, I mean, it's a current event. You know, it's something really important that's going on right now. And I feel like it's important for me to mention it. Uh, but yeah, check out that Biden video that I posted today. It's really good stuff. Um, and I can't find a Sela camp anywhere, in case you guys didn't notice, that's what I'm trying to do today. Actually, uh, I think the, I think there's a fishing tourney this weekend, too, so that's good, we'll try and do that. Um, someone will probably catch a Sela camp or something. No, I'll catch a Sela camp, and someone will catch, like, a bass, and I'll be very pissed off. So pissed off. Um, but yeah, I have class tomorrow, I have, uh, motion graphics, which will be pretty fun. It'll be an interesting editing class because I don't work too much with graphics. I mean, I, I do. I mean, obviously I work with Photoshop a lot, but I don't work too much with motion graphics. So that'll be interesting. Probably an easy class where it'll be a lot of stuff I already know. Uh, but you got you have to take a lot of classes like that. I mean, that, that's just inevitable that if you do something for a long time, you're gonna end up, let's see, Master Sword. I already have that. I already have that. That piece of garbage. I didn't even know he could resell that. As a special. Guess so. Didn't know that. Um. So yeah, that's what's going to be going on tomorrow. And yeah, guys, one more thing. I mean, once again, if you get Steam and you want to play, go ahead and add me. Um, Red Panda Gamer, obviously. Um, and if you add me, we'll maybe play some Team Fortress 2 together or whatever. Um. But if I'm playing another game, don't bother me. Don't you bother me. No, I'm just kidding, but seriously. And um, I'm actually going to end the episode now because it's pretty late. And I have, I have to get up at 6 in the morning to catch the train. So, guys, I'm Red Panda Gamer. Thank you all so much for watching. Sorry again about ranting about SOPA. Uh, but after today, I probably will not be complaining too much about it after the success of the Blackout Day. But anyways, guys, I'm Repaying the Gamer. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Please like this video, favorite this video, comment this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Do whatever you gotta do to sure love. Oh, and expect Fallout 3 tomorrow. I go to Tranquility Lane, which is like the coolest mission in the whole entire game. But that'll be posted tomorrow, and I hope you guys enjoy that, and I hope you enjoyed this. See you guys next time. Bye.